Hi, I'm Eric Olson and congratulations on taking that first step towards purchasing or selling. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that you're ready. And how do you know if you're ready? Are you moving out of your parents' basement? Are you graduating college, upsizing in houses, downsizing? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, we need to make sure that you are ready to move. So what we want you to do is to get in contact with us so we can help you identify your needs and goals to help you get to your next stage in life. Hi guys, I'm Tom Olson. Congratulations on making your decision to purchase a home. And now that you're ready, where do I go next? Right? These are some of the questions that you might have. So the next thing that you, we want to make sure that you're doing is figuring out your finances. You know, buying a home is potentially the biggest purchase of your life and kind of making sure that you're ready to go on the financial situation is a huge first step. Now, where do I go? There's a number of different resources that you can use. We personally really like the home affordability calculator. Um, there's also a mortgage calculator. Uh, we've used nerdwallet.com, just a really good resource. This is gonna take into consideration everything from your interest rate, your debts, your income, your location, and it's gonna be able to kind of tell you what can you afford, right? Now there's also a difference between what can I afford and what can I comfortably afford. You know, your loan officer might tell you that you are approved up to X number. Now that number might not mean that you can comfortably afford that versus, you know, what you can actually afford comfortably. One of the next steps is also to check your credit score. Your credit score is going to be the biggest determining factor in what your interest rate is going to be. Um, all good things to make sure that you have in line prior to purchasing your home. Now that we've talked about your finances, let's take a look at your down payment. Hey everybody, Jeremy Welter here. We just got done listening to Tom talk about getting your finances in order. So now we're gonna take the next step and discuss planning for your down payment. Most mortgage products are gonna require anywhere from three and a half percent to 20% down payment uh, cash that you're gonna to have to bring to the table to qualify for this purchase. So start saving now. Uh, sell any items that you can, um, reach out to relatives, any way for you to start saving this money uh, to get ready to purchase your house. All right, now that you've got your down payment figured out, what's the next step? Well, this is kind of a fun one. It's make a wish list. What are your wants? What are your needs? What are your must-haves in your home? Are you looking for a single family home? Are you looking for a town home, a condo? How many beds, baths? Are you looking for uh, a garage? Uh, two stall, three stall garage. Um, do you want a yard? Do you want land? Um, location, you know, what's the ideal location? Is this flexible, right? Um, all of these are things to take into consideration when looking for your next home. So make sure to write out a list, figure out what you really want, what you really need, and uh, that's going to make the next step uh, a lot easier. Now let's take a look at some of the different types of mortgages that are out there. All right, so you've taken a few of your first steps towards your next move, and the next thing that we need to figure out is what mortgage is best for you. If you can't afford to pay cash, you're going to need to mortgage to purchase the house. And there's a few different types of mortgages out there. Uh, most common that you're going to see is a conventional loan. That essentially allows you to buy anything you want that's going to be a, the most traditional route. You can also get an FHA loan. FHA loan is backed by the government. What that allows is a little bit smaller down payment, uh, as low as 3.5% down payment. The trade-off is that you might pay a little bit higher of an interest rate, but that's going to be more affected by your credit score and a few other factors. So FHA is an option. If you are a veteran, you can have a VA loan. That's a Department of Veteran Affairs. And what that's going to allow is you can do a no money down purchase and along with that is the rate really isn't going to change a whole lot. It's going to be a great loan uh, for veterans. And then the only other thing that you really need to think about is which loan is best for the current market. In the market that we're in right now, an FHA and a VA loan are going to be hard to get accepted offers because of low money down options and how strict the appraisals are. More than likely, you're going to get an offer accepted with a conventional loan, putting down a large down payment, because, and also because the appraisals aren't going to require a lot of repairs. So those are gonna be your different options when you're looking at mortgages. Thanks for the information, Eric, that was great. Now that you've determined what type of mortgage product or loan product is gonna work best for you, we need to start working on getting your pre-approval. This is something that your lender is gonna do. They're gonna collect a bunch of information, uh, financials, credit score, uh, debt to income, that kind of uh, employment, 
um, information. All this is going to be used to determine how much of a house you can purchase. What is the, the max price? Um, and then from there, we can determine, you know, what type of houses we want to look for, what price point we want to start searching at. All right, so you've got your type of loan figured out. You've got your pre-approval now, so we know how, how much of a house you can purchase. Now it's time to go with shopping. Let's start identifying houses we want to go and look at, set up walkthroughs. We want to go out and, and let the hunt begin to find your next place. Congratulations, you found a home that you're excited about. Now it's time to make an offer. Now this is the point where having the right realtor can make a tremendous difference. Uh, depending on market conditions, certain aspects of the offer can make or break the deal, right? How much should I offer? How much should my down payment be? How much earnest money should I put down? Um, should we do seller paid closing costs? Uh, how many days for an inspection? Um, all of these things are taken into consideration on the other side of things when they're looking at accepting or declining an offer, right? So our job as a realtor is to figure out what's gonna make your offer shine for the sellers. So say you get a rejected offer. What was the reason for that? You know, should we walk away from it? Should we renegotiate? Should we counter? All of these things are things to take into consideration. However, let's assume you get a, an accepted offer. That's awesome, congratulations. There's only a couple more steps to go. Now it's time to get a mortgage. Now it's time to get you a mortgage. And if you don't know where to start or you don't know who to contact, contact us. We have preferred lenders that we like to work with. We can point you in their direction and they will give you a great experience getting a mortgage. That lender can help you figure out exactly which mortgage will be best for you. What they can also do is they can help you figure out your monthly payment because that's going to be a huge factor into how much house you can afford. They might tell you that you can afford X amount but when you look at your monthly expenses and how much the, your, you would need to come up with per month, you might say, I am only comfortable going up to here. And they'll be able to help you figure that out based on your budget. And so now that you've picked a lender and they've helped you identify a loan, you can go ahead and provide them all that paperwork. They're gonna give us a pre-approval letter and we can get out and start looking at houses. Okay, so you made your offer, you're working on getting your mortgage, now we need to start getting a homeowner's insurance because if you took out a loan for, for the purchase of this house, they're gonna require you to have homeowner's insurance. If you're already working with an agent, just provide them the information of the house. They'll get a quote put together for you. If you'd like us to refer you to somebody, we'd be happy to do that. We work with many agents in the area. Just let us know. All right, and the next topic that we're going to talk about is gonna be negotiation of inspection, repairs, or credits. Now, one of the biggest, scariest things about buying a house is you don't know exactly what you're getting into. And so one of the ways to alleviate that fear is to get an inspection. Now, say that you go through the inspection and there's a couple things that come up that are a little bit nerve wracking. What you can do is you can go ahead and negotiate with the seller, even after you've already decided on terms, to say, hey, you know what? I know we agreed on this, but now that we got the inspection done and we've seen this, this, and this, we want you to go ahead and repair this item. We want you to repair that outlet, uh, whatever those items might be. And, or you might just say, hey, you know what? There's a few items. We'll go ahead and take care of them ourselves. You don't have to do that. But in exchange, let's take $2,000 off the purchase price. Let's take $100 off the purchase price. So we just want you to remember that there are steps that you can take after the inspection. If anything were to come up, that you might not have known about beforehand. This is why it's important to work with an experienced realtor who's gone through these situations before, who can help you navigate these high stress situations. One of the last things we need to make sure that we get done is an appraisal on the home. Now, this is typically around three to $400, and this is gonna be out of your pocket as the home buyer. Um, now, the inspection was more for you and for your peace of mind. The appraisal is actually more for the lender. They want to make sure that the home that you're purchasing is actually worth the amount that you're purchasing it for. It's kind of a safety net for them to make sure that their investment in you is safe as well. What it looks like is an appraiser is actually going to come out to the property, take a look around. It doesn't take very long. Um, they're just going to poke around, walk, uh, walk the property, and... Uh, and give you a valuation of what this home is actually worth. We're so close, there's just a couple steps left. Hey everybody, it's Tyler Reese, and thank you so much for sticking along this way. You are nearing the finish line with the North Star Real Estate Group on how to buy a home. While you've been 
out searching for homes, you've got that purchase agreement, your past appraisal, your past inspection. The title company has actually been helping you create the final documents that are needed to actually transfer the property into your name. What they do is they're actually gonna clear the property, do a title search, making sure it's free and clear of any liens so you don't have any problems in the future. Another thing that they're responsible for is actually conducting the closing. They're gonna draft the documents, they're gonna have you sign your mortgage, and they're responsible for collecting your down payment and making sure that the mortgage gets recorded at the county. And after that, you've got about, I don't know, uh, anywhere between 16 and 40 signatures, it seems like these days. Uh, the keys will be kindly drip, dropped into your hand and you are a brand new homeowner. And congratulations, now the big part begins, moving. Don't forget to change your address, forge your mail, get the utilities put in your name. But you know what? You don't have to worry about that stuff because we're gonna let you know all the way along the process. If you're looking at buying a new home, go ahead, get your contact information. We'd love to help you, any one of us on the North Star Real Estate Group team. Have a great day.